This is you. Oh man, I seen you coming down the red carpet, so I got some things to talk to my guy right here. Break it down. First of all, for a man, for all mankind, is my favorite show Live. on television. Live. Swear to God, ask Chris Williams. I, I blow her up all the time. The homie. Oh, you know Chris? Yes, yes I do. Yes, I do. I um, mean, she here, by the way? And some of which you've never seen on screen before. Right there. Go. Away. Listen, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna make sure we get her. But I like how you came in this season and you disturbed the okay. pot, okay. the pot. And I love because the show changes history. But this extra element of you having your business and you know, kind of shifting things. And just in case anybody have not seen it, but I love the race to Mars and there being actually a third competitor yeah. in there. When you knew you were going to be on this show. And you were going to have such a monumental part. What was the emotions for you? Well, I was excited because black billionaire. Hey, you know what I mean? And this cool. is predating Robert Johnson of BET. So this character in our fictional alternative history is the first black billionaire. Yeah. Uh, and I feel like there's a lot of responsibility to take on a character who's uh, moving at that level yeah. and trying to change the world. He's created fusion which is a technology that can save our world and yeah. uh, contribute, is contributing to the advancement of society and new ways of sustainable living. And I mean, his, he's a, a businessman who's uh, very purposeful. He knows how to rally people behind him. Uh, he's created all this amazing tech and he's a disruptor. All of these things, yeah. you know? Yeah, um, there's more for all mankind to come. What might be the direction of your character going for it? You know, they, the showrunners keep uh, the storylines under lock and key. You know what I mean? They don't let us know what they have in mind. But yeah. that's like Christmas every episode. You yeah. open it up and you go, okay, yeah. so that's what you're doing. Yeah. So. What, was your, what was your emotions watching it? There were so many very empowering moments. Then there were some very gut-wrenching moments. And then your character much felt like a reflection of how I was feeling especially with the, the whole race aspect, there was moments of success, moments of failure, yeah. but you just wearing it in every bit of your mannerisms and everything. Um, was it was it something about the character that you relate to to kind of tap into such quick responses to everything that was happening? Well, you know, I think for me, it's just telling the truth all the time. And this the truth of this guy is that he's very purposeful. Like I mentioned, he's he's got plans and he's not letting anybody get in the way of what his plans are. Some of the decisions he makes are controversial and someone might look at it and say that that's wrong. Yeah. But he's always justified. He knows what the end goal is. And part of the joy for me is seeing where he succeeds and where he fails and okay. then figuring that out. Okay. Well, looking forward to it, my brother. Hope you have a good rest of your... We don't know what to do, man. Is it like... I don't know. We just do it all, man. <laughs> my God. Excuse me. Oh. Are you also handling...